Hello, people of the internet. First of all, I owe an apology to a lot of people who watched my Windows 95 and ISO uh, tutorial. Uh, the tutorial I made was kind of sluggish. It did not work, and it did work. It crashed, and it did, didn't crash. It was bootable, and it was not bootable. It's a lot of trouble. So, yeah, I'm gonna do the whole tutorial again. I'll be demonstrating this, and I will be showing this in VMware. Should work with virtual PC. With virtual box, you may have some problems regarding MS DOS. But let's get to it. So you will have to create a virtual machine. I don't really know what you'll be using, but if you are using VMware, hit next. I will install the operating system later. So like this. It gave me some trouble when using this a few times. Other MS DOS uh, next, and uh, this is name it MS DOS, but or what I name it whatever you want. But it's a four because. I uh, failed myself a few times. I'm just gonna name it Windows 95 ISO. Set the size to 100 megabytes. Store a disk as a single file. Next, finish. Now I will mention something. When installing games, that's we we will run into a problem. But I know how to mend it. I will show you. So. Uh, this might be a bit tricky to uh, fix or mend. Uh, you will get this hit VM, remove all devices, settings, just you have to mount your DOS ISO, use image file. Uh, I actually have to and reboot VM. VM, VM. You'll get this hit one or enter whichever you prefer. You will get this. Hit next. Next. You agree, of course. Next. Continue. And now you will need to do a reboot. And when you reboot, you, sir, will get this. And there's no way out. Actually, there is one way out. Right. But what you need to do, I, I don't know what you are using, but you need to send Control Alt Delete and get back and activate. Oh shit! You have to send Control Alt Delete and enter the boot menu and boot again from the CD drive. The, that's the only way I can fix this. Well, fix this. And you'll have to restart the installation for MS DOS. Uh, apparently, when you are creating a partition uh, uh, to install, uh, there's some sort of a problem. I don't know. You just have to do that and redo the installation. Next, continue, and you will get this. Yes, rewrite your MRB code. Hit next. Yes. Do not install add-ons. Please don't do that. You don't need them. It takes ages. Next. Yep. Okay. I'm just going to do keyboard. Mm -hmm. Copying and processing files. Um, no. We don't need that. Uh, do you want to enable this? No. Do not. As it can mess up some things. Uh, use both. Load both. Use defaults. Use defaults. Whoa. Okay. Uh, please remove the disk. Uh, remove the disk. Damn it. Oh wait. Oh, well, no, no, don't do that. Damn it. Connect. Uh, well, why do they have to make it to that? Can't I unmount it? Never mind. Okay, so it's not reading it anymore actually. And yes, reboot. And if and everything went well, 
Welcome to Rainbow Star 7.1! Yay! So, you have installed successfully MS DOS. Now you have to mount Windows 95 ISO, and from there, everything should go smooth as butter. Mount your ISO, why does it have to be so complicated? So, hit, uh, uh, type D. There, is that here? Uh, yes, sir. Enter. Now, if you get some problems in the next minute or so, that means, yeah. Let me go run some problems if you do. If you do not, that's good. But I, like an hour ago, I installed it. Hold on, I installed it and went really well. I did not finish this, I get like the last part of the installation, I just, I had to go somewhere, but everything looked okay for me. Of course, you accept this, yes? Okay. Next. Next. I have to prepare your directory. We have no idea how disappointed I was when I realized my problem. Again, I'm so sorry about my mistake. Uh, just go custom. I mean. Select whatever you want, just don't want one of these two, whatever. Next. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. You will get the uh, this code in the uh, description. I just have to I just have to find it. Okay, that was simple. So the name uh, company uh, whatever. Uh, yes. Select both. Next. This could take some time. So, right now I'm chatting with my friend on Facebook. He just bought a wireless keyboard with no USB adapter. Yeah. Um, so you will get this. Well, as you can see, 100 megabytes is pretty much the bare minimum, so you won't be able to install anything on this. Yeah. Hit next. Next, damn it. Next. No, 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 do not. I do not want to start a disk. Unless you have some floppy disks lying around useless, and you can actually put them in your computer. Hit next, next, and we'll start, start to copy files. This should go really fast. One thing I want to mention is uh, when I was installing, uh, doing a test for installing this uh, Windows 95 so about two hours ago, I did have some strange issues after this part. It, uh, it, it required me to uh, mount an ISO, but I did not, I mean, I mounted, but I did mount the ISO, but did not read the ISO, so it was a bit strange. So I hopefully it will not happen. And that is finished, and I will restart your computer. Hit yes, you will get this hit yes, yes again, yes again, again. And when it starts to reboot your computer, it, it does not ask you to take out the uh, ISO, which I uh, removed the disk from the drive. Ah. So you do need to unmount your ISO. Hopefully, that will work. As uh, sure, you have no idea how nervous I am right now. Like, really nervous. 
No. Oh well. Don't get rid of this. Now it will do some more stuff in copying files and it will ask for the ISO again. Excuse, excuse me for noise in the background, please. Now also look at this. Oh no 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 wrong button. Damn it, no. Now it should work. God da goodness. Well it's there. It's reading it. No don't know about you, Betty Bear. D. Copy files from D. Hang on a minute. Mm -hmm. Drivers C. Why isn't it, why isn't it reading the D? That sounds strange. Uh, and C it installed. I had the same problem. Two hours to do it. Out of the just a glitch. I'm it's reading it. And it's not reading it. My God. Source file D. Win ninety five. Wish something something. Bus logic and MPD. Mm, you know what? I'm just gonna skip and I. I know, I'll finish and later. I'm just gonna do it maybe later. Like the computer name P PC work group something 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 and new. sorry buddy but you can't get it. I think well, there are just a few more steps to do, and we are done, baby. Again, huge apology to anyone who watched the previous Windows 95 ISO. Not Windows 95 and now sort of tutorial. I have some cookies. My grandma makes them. And this should go without much problem, and we are pretty much. Can I click on my thumbs now? No. The Pari was new. This. Uh, yep. Six forty. Nope, don't have any. And bam, you have successfully installed Windows 95 with the nice. So, thank goodness. Well, I can sleep easily now. Uh, yes, I got the same issue last time. It will continue to boot. Hopefully. Yes. Now you will get some uh, this and this. And congratulations. If you follow me, like you should, you have successfully installed this 95 and I still think, God, this worked. You have no idea how nervous I was. That's it. Thank you so, so. Ow, ow, bloody hell. What the hell was that? Ow. Oh, something just from my eye. Damn it. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. I really do appreciate it. If you like this tutorial, if you like my video, please hit that like and subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Um, I did some other uh, retro PC and Windows videos. And 
if you have any problems, hit that comment section and I will be seeing you. Peace out.